I would first mention that Ukraine is a rather young democracy. Ukraine is a country with a, a small and a open economy. It means that uh, our economy is, uh, is unfortunately is exposed to any measures uh, like uh, externalities uh, from the uh, outside. In the economy field, after the uh, as a legacy of uh, Soviet Union, we still have some sort of uh, disproportion. Still some fields uh, of uh, our economy is uh, very uh, exp uh, exposed to some shocks, uh, from, like either from supply or demand side. So I think uh, like uh, uh, applying the proper uh, uh, po policy measures, uh, especially in the field of developing uh, some uh, new industries or uh, make uh, stronger already existing industries, would be really uh, helpful for the economy of my country. Someone coming from um, a, cent a, a central banking background and someone who was involved in the um, monetary policy issues. Um, I look at the project of Green Belt Initiative, not only helping people having food, but it is also going to solve um, the problem of having high, uh, high inflation from the, uh, from the food component. So for the past two years, the f uh, food inflation has been very high in Malawi, but non-food inflation has been uh, very stable, somewhere below 5%. If we have um, this project, we are going to have adequate food in the country, the prices of food are going to stabilize, inflation overall is going to stabilize. So it's going to be a policy that is not only going to solve food challenges, but also monetary policy um, issues. I would say that uh, if a person wants uh, to like to put its own efforts like to participate in country or uh, development or in solving some uh, some society related uh, problems there uh, won't be uh, hardly a better uh, field better subject uh, to study than public policy because public policy actually ad address all the issues related to either uh, citizens of small town or whole country or the uh, globe society. And also, uh, you see, people in the public sector, they face difficult questions every day. For example, uh, we know that resources are not always enough all the time. So they have to make decisions on what should be the priority and why. To prioritize these um, actions, to prioritize these uh, government activities, one needs to understand the nitty gritties of public policy. So, um, studying public policy is one of the, uh, the best things that one needs to do. Implement uh, policies that benefit the society, uh, that benefits the citizens. In the discussion of public policy, there is not just one stakeholder. You have politicians in there, you have uh, technocrats, you have NGOs. So all these people come together and you notice that each and every uh, interest group will bring their own interests. Maybe they, they will have their own agenda, right? So uh, we need um, to understand uh, these interests and uh, weigh them to see uh, whether those uh, interests or their agenda is making sense for the general good of the of the of the country. Public policy uh, allow us to, as White had mentioned, to gather all the stakeholders and actually to group them, to unite them around the one, uh, like around a couple of uh, ultimate goals like uh, equal, uh, equality and uh, prosperity. Public policy matters.